Well, hello, hello, hello. How's it going? <laughs> this might be a little bit loud. Let's see, it should be better. So, TGIF. Yes, uh, cake and cake. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Just cake, no cake on top of the cake. Hello, Soup. Hello, Hype. Hello, Via. Hello, Runaway Pigeon. Hello, Camia. Hello, Rogel. Hello, hello Zephyrus. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? Friday night. Oh. I'm going to be attempting my second cake this evening. Remember the first one? It was a disaster. Um, I'm hoping this one's going to go better. Although I'm kind of setting myself up for a failure because it's supposed to refrigerate for eight hours before I can cut it up, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Who's gonna do that? Ah, <laughs> uh, <Baby> Miller. <laughs> Good one, Miller. Um, it's called Monasteriska Kata, and monastery hot in English, and it is a traditional Eastern European uh, dessert that features cherries. Thank you, Cypher, and it is delicious. I have had it before, not in a while though, not since I moved here, but I have never made it before. So this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be making it. Theoretically speaking, shouldn't be that difficult. Shouldn't be that difficult. Thank you, Soup! <laughs> Hype train! <laughs> but that's theoretically speaking. Um, I am dessert challenged. Baking is not my forte, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, at the very least, even if it comes out ugly, it's probably gonna be tasty. <laughs> I hope. Dang, is it this? Hello, anxious. I hope. Thank you, hype. <laughs> I do have to put salt in it, so don't let me forget that. Yeah, but it's supposed to be a pyramid cake and it has a pretty specific look. Uh, it might trip up those of you who are tripophobic, but not until the very end. So don't worry, you can watch it safely and I'll warn you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> thank you, Soup. <laughs> Tell me guys, how's your Friday going? How's your week? I had a hectic day today because uh, this whole room like all of the furniture was taken out of it and all the walls and the ceilings were sanded and painted today. Uh, it's still a little stinky in here. It's not too bad actually. Thank you, Miller. Hello, Eddie. <laughs> Baking is difficult, I agree. But you know what? I don't back down before a challenge. So. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh. You know you should open the windows if you're using if you're using bleach to clean. Hey, thank you to Spud for continuing your sub. What's up? <laughs> right? Right? I love it. You can stretch it and it has a switch button to do the spray spray instead of the normal type of water faucet thing. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> Still think I'm the devil. All right, I got you. But yeah, so uh, once the hype train is done, level one complete. Once the hype train is done, we're gonna start on the dough. Um, what are real pans? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric, are you saying that my Le Crochet are not real pans? Hmm. I'm saying these bad babies, these bad babies <laughs> are not real pans. <laughs> Thank you, that poop. But also, I don't need pans. <laughs> They're heavy as shit though, yeah. 
Thank you, Vander. Woo! Oh, thank you, Elmer Jetson, for continuing your sub. Three months straight. Here we go. I want to date a girl who said her parts tasted like the rainbow. How was I supposed to know she meant trout instead of Skittles? <sighs> Thank you, Zephyrus. Uh, please, no pussy jokes in the kitchen. Um. <laughs> hey, yonder, <dude>, Corey. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. I would gladly share the cake with you, but we'll see. Okay, all right, Vinder. I let it, I let it slide. <laughs> So, for this recipe of the pyramid cake, also known as the monastery hut, here's what you'll need. I'm gonna improvise a little bit because it's a long time. I have a mixer. So, flour, cherries. The fresh cherries at my local store looked kind of gross, so I got the frozen ones. I have to de-pit them, um, which I will. Uh, powdered sugar. Hella sour cream, it's in the fridge, it has to be cold. Hella sour cream, and a good amount of butter. So, the sour cream goes in the dough as well as in the cream. However, um, because I don't have a mixer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment. <laughs> We're off to a good start. And I'm going to uh, take some of this whipped vanilla frosting and mix it in with the sour cream to reach the desired consistency of the cream that goes on top of the cake and sweetness. I think it should work. I don't see why it shouldn't work. I think it should work. And then I have, hello. And then I have some chopped hazelnut and some chocolate chips, which I'm going to melt to then sprinkle chocolate on top of the cake and decorate it. So it should, it should come out quite good. Assuming I can pull it off. Thank you, Vinder. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you about how I got fired from my first job? Apparently, instead of asking original or extra crispy, I was supposed to ask buried or cremated. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so actually, sour cream in dough is, um, and in cream, is very common in some Russian desserts, like Midevik and Svitanik are both cakes. Um, and they both use an ungodly amount of sour cream. Um, so, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. 30 seconds left in the hype train, and let's see. I don't know where anything is, honestly. Like, I still haven't learned my own kitchen. Is it down here? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I don't think so, Rebel. I don't believe so. What's it made out of? Okay, so for the starters, everything's in grams, so I'm gonna have to be annoying and go convert 350 grams into ounces. Okay, 12 ounces. Oh, it actually has grams in here too, so never mind. I just need about a little bit over a third of this bag of flour. Thank you, Bender. What did the amputee say when he couldn't answer the question? I'm stumped. <laughs> Bender! <sighs> hey, hey, no judgment. I will bake cakes when I feel like baking cakes, okay? <laughs> Um, it might take a while though, so we'll see. So, we're going to get it started. And we're going to pour out about a little bit over a third of this package. Well, that's going to take a while.
off to a good start. All right, there we go. <laughs> There's also going to be downtime um, while things are happening that we will use to play GeoGuessr. Okay. I'm pretty much just like winging this. So uh, let's hope it works out for us. <laughs> um, it should. I don't see any reason for it not to work out for us. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. All right. Oh God. Flowers gonna be everywhere. I hate. I hate flower. <laughs> yes. And so then, now is the weird part, uh, for which I need to find my uh, stuff. Where is the stuff I'm looking for? Not here, not there, not anywhere. Oh. <laughs> so this is the weird part. We're gonna need to use a big grater. Thank you, Les. Well, no, it can't hype because last time I used a pre-made mix. This time I'm making a cake from scratch. So there is an endless amount of possibilities for this to go worse than last time. All right, so now we're going to take cold butter and a spoon. We're going to take cold butter. <laughs> uh, Yes, chuckles nervously is exactly what I have been doing for the past couple of days since I decided to make this. Um, it has to be cold, it has to be fresh out of the fridge because you're gonna have to grate it on the big grater. And kind of go a little bit at a time and mix it into the flour. If you dip it into the flour, it will not stick to the cheese grater as much. Or to itself. This is important because this is how you get um, the dough that's gonna be like, kind of like pastry-esque. Okay, you know what, I can Love the result and hate the process. No, it's actually fine. It's just, I always end up getting flour everywhere when I'm working with it. So with, the, with this type of dough, you have to work fast because you can't let the butter melt too much. I'm mixing in um, the butter bits with the flour to make sure that each butter bit has a whole bunch of flour stuck onto it. Well, this looks about right to me in terms of the amount of flour, Eric, so I'm gonna trust my gut. And which is why I'm mixing it with my hand, uh, with my, with a spoon, I'm sorry, as opposed to my hand, because um, my hand will melt the butter. So I'm gonna need a little bit more butter and a knife. 
Thank you, Fafnir. I will post the recipe of this um, after the stream in the Discord. I found a really nice one with the pictures and all the explanations, so. <laughs> Should be good enough for you guys to make it. Come on. There we go. Just like that hype? <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little intense. That sounds uh, very American. <laughs> Deep fried butter. Okay. So I'm gonna mix it in and I'm gonna show it to you. So this is where we're at right now. Ooh, it's a little bright. Let me see, can I get it out of the light and show it to you? Not really, hello, hello, camera, hello, hello. See, it's like the consistency is a little funny because it's supposed to be that way. All right, so now, we need sour cream. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing? But that's all you can see. is gonna go in the cream and again I'm going to do my best to mix the sour cream in with everything I have to like break it up a bit to make sure there's no clumps of sour cream in there that are like too big because you want it to be layered you want it to be like as a like kind of like as like a pastry in the end so you want it to have a little bit of a inconsistent consistency thanks I made it big, it was small, the kitchen, I mean. Took some walls down. Okay. Now, I need some salt before I had forgotten. About this much. Mix it more. <laughs> hey guys. My 
arm is getting tired. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I made it this far without a mixer, though, in my life, you know? <laughs> All right, so this is looking about right, I think. So now what we got to do is, before I get my hands in there, let me get properly prepared. Because we're going to put it in the fridge once it's, uh, you know, doughy. <laughs> and then we're going to play some GeoGuessr. So now you get in there with your hands and you kind of want to get it into one bowl. So you kind of like want to press it together little by little. <laughs> Again, have to work fast because you don't want the butter to, stop microwave. You don't want the butter to melt. You don't want your hands to melt your butter. So, basically, is, you know, see what I'm doing is I'm consolidating it. Kind of like adding piece by piece. So now, as you see, what we have is this bowl of dough that is not of the same consistency and the same color all over, which is what we want, because again, we want it to be a layered pastry when it's cooked. Um, so see, now we have this nice little bowl, and what we're going to do, stop, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in the saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about 40 minutes. The recipe says an hour. We're consolidating the recipe into a faster one because we ain't got that kind of time. Come on, there we go. We ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> We lost just in time for the, for the cake. Yes, Truff, we have a Valheim server going. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Nobody, this was a tough one. I mean, come on, there's like nothing to go off on. On, off, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I'm supposed to split it in like three pieces that are semi-equal. Stop it. Okay. And then we're gonna make them into a uh -oh. Thank you, Viking, for gifting a sub. So you have to split the dough in three equal-ish pieces and make them kind of squared. <laughs> make them into bricks, like so. Looks like a brick. Y'all said, no frog plane, this will be my ass. <laughs> it's a 
okay, it's okay. It's not okay! It's okay. Alright. Stupid. Game! <laughs> Break. They're not at all equal, but you know what? <laughs> That's fine. Not all pieces of dough have been created equal. bricks of dough and now what we're gonna do is going to sprinkle some flour onto this board oh that's a lot of flour uh, but it's okay right uh-huh we're gonna take them we're gonna roll them up roll them out thank you dozer for continuing your sub We're gonna try to roll them out. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I need uh, some kind of a way to stabilize this stupid board. That doesn't really stabilize it. I need more space to work with, but I don't want to do it on the counter. I don't want to do it on the counter. <laughs> it's kind of damp. The towel is. So we need the edges to be kind of straight for the pyramid to look good. What'd you cook? And so now we need to make three. We need to make, th no, not three, five, 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 yeah. So one, two, three. Four. Hang on. Yeah, like there ish. One, two, three. until we lost a massive geogesser streak. Okay, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four. I'm going to fix this one a little bit. So now, now that it's looking good, gonna... thank you, Pistol. We're going to stuff them with cherries. So I'm gonna take. So I'm going to take cherries and just put them in a row, like so. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. Good. And then we're going to very carefully wrap them. And So for the dough to stick, you just want to wet it. And then pinch the edges. Something like that. Put a little bit more dough on this one to make sure it doesn't break. But yeah, so you make these little rolls with sushi in them. Oh, with sushi, sorry. With cherry in them, Eric. And then you put them up, down, whatever. You put them onto the um, parchment paper on a cookie sheet. <laughs> right so we're gonna make 15 of those or I guess as many as uh, the cherries last I don't know if we can make 15 but <laughs> you're supposed to make 15 The water helps it stick to itself. If you're wondering why am I putting water in it, it's because it helps to seal the um, edge. There you go, another one. And you wanna, we're gonna put them down in the parchment paper, um, the sealed edge down. At least that's what the smart lady said that made those in the video on YouTube. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a pyramid cake when I'm done with it. If I'm ever done with it. <laughs> this is quite a process and I kind of didn't realize how much of a process it was going into it. But I ain't no quitter. Mama didn't raise no quitter. So we're doing it. Hello, Jim. Welcome. 
How's it going? <laughs> Ted, I got to 163 or whatever. That was a lot, okay? 163 countries guessed with not a single mistake. Hello, Charlie. Charlie Roger, welcome. Three. Okay, I'm starting to get a hang of this, I think. Distraught as it is. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> also, it was your fault. <laughs> you, chat. I trusted you. And you failed me. It's okay. You know what? I'm kind of glad we lost in a weird way. Because it was a lot of pressure, you know? Having a streak that high made the game less fun because it was a lot of pressure to guess correctly and to keep clicking and it takes the fun out of the game. <laughs> of course I'm gonna, who am I gonna blame? Myself? What are you, crazy? <laughs> How can I blame myself? <laughs> Yes. You know what? You know what it means? All it means is that the cake is going to be a success. Because there can be two disasters in one stream, right? <laughs> there can be two disasters in one stream. <laughs> That's just it. That's just all it means. <laughs> Fuck you, hype. <laughs> You shush. <laughs> Failure is an integral part of success, okay? Before one can succeed at anything, one must fail. Numerous times before my one can truly master. Um, yes, I will share the link to it after I'm done with it. Um, but it's called basically, it is called a uh, monastery hot cake, so you can look it up if you want to. I'm gonna take the cuttings I made and I'm gonna roll them out. We got five, we need 15. So I need, how am I gonna fit all this? I don't know. I need two cookie trays. So I'm probably gonna be able to make like five out of this and then like three out of this. So I'm gonna make two out of the cuttings. Yes, I am gonna start over. But not not right the second. Once uh once the cake is in the oven, we'll start a new streak. God damn it.
Yep. Well, I don't know. According to some places, it's Ukrainian. According to others, it's Russian. But it's Eastern European. I am starting to get a hang of it, though. So that's a good thing. Yeah, kind of. Depends on your level of uh, comfort with just baking in general, I would say. Kind of running short on cherries. Okay, um, <laughs> yes, it is. It is a fancy oven with a touch screen. Um, it's a smart stove. So far, it's a little bit too smart, if you ask me, but... <laughs> Can't complain. Not play Angry Birds in it and it does not receive messages, but it tells me how to cook, which I wish it didn't. <laughs> um, uh, no, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Yeah, no, those are too pricey. I was eyeing a Viking stove, but then I was like, you know what? <laughs> it costs almost half of my whole kitchen, so. <laughs> Probably not. Don't really eat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really have enough cherries to make 15, so. Four, three, two, one. We'll make three more, and then I'll save the rest of the dough and just make some pastry tomorrow. Yeah, so we're gonna make it one floor less. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> A whole house and industrial kitchen? I mean, you could, but... You also need to like sleep somewhere. <laughs> I would say. So this kind of dough, by the way, the dough that we made for this, um, allegedly is very good for just any good old pastry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save the dough that's left over because I don't have enough cherries anyway. Um, and then I'm going to bake some little, uh, we call them ragaliki, some little pastry guys tomorrow with some other berries, maybe blueberries, maybe strawberries. You can basically put any kind of berry in them or jam even. Uh, and they're pretty easy. You just do the same thing. You roll it out, you take a little strip, you put stuff in and then you just kind of like twist it uh, like like so diagonally instead of the way I'm doing it and seal it you know pinch the edges and then uh, you got yourself a nice little pastry dessert it's fast and easy Ooh, wait hang on actually JK I gotta make it a little bit wider there we go <laughs> Yeah, should be pretty good. I just wasn't entirely sure how many how many cherries or how much cherry I would need for this. Um, so we're gonna make it, instead of five floors, we're gonna make it four floors, which is gonna be the same cake, just slightly smaller. <laughs> this, no, this is usually made with either fresh cherry or frozen cherry that's been deep pitted which is uh i'm making it with the frozen cherry fresh cherry looked a little meh at the store you'll see we're getting there slowly but surely so i'm gonna make one more of these Wow, perfect. You used every last cherry. <laughs> well, yes, that's what I'm saying. You have to make sure they're deep pitted. You don't want you don't want that. somebody do the same cake without making these and just making it like as a normally shaped cake in layers but I figured this would be a little bit more fun so 
I did it this way. There we go. Just one what? All right, so now I'm just going to put these back together into this. Saran wrap. Preheating uh, is almost there. Just gonna clean up a little bit. And then we're gonna bake these little tubes with cherry that I made for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. They should be ready and then we will let them cool and then we will assemble the cake. Uh, like 200 Celsius? I have not had pine con gem. No, what is that? Also, we have two more Universal Yums boxes to go through. We might do that tomorrow if there's no Story Lab. I still don't know. Or if there is Story Lab, we might do that next week. Well, one box, one at a time. All right, looking nice and clean-ish. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's around there. So the recipe that I'm following, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna post it in chat once, but uh, I will post it later on my Discord in the cooking channel, so join. If you're subbed, you can just sync your Discord and your Twitch and that's how you get them there. It's sub only. There we go. That's the link. Oh, let me double check that we've done everything correctly so far.
figure out how to check on them. So now, what we need to do is make a cream that is going to go on top of these, which is going to be, come on. About a little bit more than half of what's left here. And then, so sour cream. What? Yeah, yep, that's, that's the cake. That's what we're trying to make. It's my first time making it, so we'll see how it comes out. So far, seems to be working. And then we're gonna put one whole can of this. This is not how the recipe goes, but this is how I am going to make it. <laughs> we're going to mix it with the sour cream. This is vanilla frosting. try it and then I'm going to decide if I want to add more or if I don't want to add sugar or whatever. Yeah, I have powdered sugar uh, for that specific purpose. But since I'm adding straight up frosting to it, which is not what the recipe calls for, I have to make sure I don't make it too sugary, you know? Although you do have to keep in mind that the dough does not have any sugar in it. Um, and the cherry itself is quite tart, so you need to have it sweet. Okay, this is very sweet, so no more sugar. Oh, but it's delicious! I am a genius, I have to say though, because the sour cream complements the frosting so well. It makes it taste like cream cheesy and vanilla -y and <sighs> wow. <laughs> um, okay, you know what? Even if this doesn't look good, um, sorry. <laughs> Even if this doesn't look good, it is going to be really delicious. I can already tell. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Like a very sweet and um, um, airy cheesecake. All right. These are looking all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, the only thing that, the only step that's left is once these are done cooking, which is going to happen in 15 minutes, give or take, we're going to uh, let them cool down. And then after that, we're going to build the pyramid. So the way this is done in the recipe is you add a lot of sour cream and then a lot of uh, powdered sugar and then I think heavy cream or whipped cream or like there's just like a whole bunch of stuff and then you have to mix it with a mixer and I can't, I don't have a mixer. So I figured that I would reach around the same result if I just add some frosting. It's just the cherries inside. You could theoretically experiment and put whatever you want inside it, whatever kind of berry inside it. Thank you, Les. 
No smashing egg in my head today. I don't actually have any eggs. Nope, no eggs. I still do have some of the in my fridge because I made more uh, on Tuesday. I know, Calvin. It cost me blood, sweat, and tears, but I love it. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> also, yeah, you can see my faucet now. So it's like stretchy, stretchy, right? And you can switch it so it sprays instead of just running water. Oh, cheers, soup. Well, I'm not that strong. Like, I'm working on my arm strengths, but... <laughs> Would you like me to design it for you? Because I can. I have never designed anything in my life, and I have been doing this to my house, and I have been very successful. Everybody so far has been like, shit, girl. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's important to find a good contractor. Look at these. So last time when I was cooking uh, on Twitch, I didn't have anything to like rest the hot pots on, right? And look at these I got. Aren't they cute? Look at them. They're little Monstera leaves. And I have a Monstera in the corner over there, so they match match. These are for pots. tubes that leaked some cherry, but that's fine. That's fine. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Once it's done, it's gonna be super worth it. Also, it's not, doesn't really take forever to make, it just takes a while, because there's a lot of uh, steps involved and a lot of waiting for it to cool down and bake and stuff like that. It's not like super labor intensive, it just takes a while. So maybe if you wanna cook this cake for an occasion, start a day early. That's all. So I'm gonna put four of them in a row on the bottom layer. I'm gonna put
Okay. Yeah, kinda. What does that mean, yeah, kinda? Well, let's see. Well, as long as it's not gonna like explode or something. some shit. Don't panic, fellas. We're getting there. It has four sides. <laughs> it's one, two, three, and four. Oh, no. fine amount of melted chocolate um, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh <laughs> okay this is not working out the way I planned but it's okay we're going to make abstract art with it Looks like a pile of poop. Okay, this is about the contents. 
Okay, so now uh, for the finishing touch, I'm going to drizzle some hazelnuts, chopped hazelnuts on top of this madness. Need a better way to do so. And thank you so for gifting two subs. Me too. All right. So it looks a little bit like a mess, but I'm sure it'll be tasty. Oh, hang on. One second. Take a picture because it will last longer. <laughs> thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Afra. Oh, hey, mess. And then I'm going to put her in the fridge for just a couple of minutes. really good actually. Like a delicious dessert on its own. So, if you want to make a delicious dessert like this, easy peasy. Get yeah, some vanilla frosting and like do it one to one with sour cream. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So, theoretically speaking, by the recipe, I'm supposed to put the cake in the fridge for eight hours and then use the remaining cream to touch it up and uh, make it uh, all smooth and nice. Now that being said, I'm not gonna wait for eight hours. I wanna cut into it and try it and show you guys how it came out. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna put it in for like 10 minutes. Just let it set a little bit. Meanwhile, you can tell me how you guys are doing. I'm gonna close down the do you guess it for today though? I've had enough of it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dennis! Hype train level two! I don't think they'll restore my streak uh, based on a strongly worded letter, but I appreciate the effort. Okay, so this is my second attempt at making a dessert. Well, I mean, I make mean chocolate chip cookies, but that's as much, that's as far as my baking abilities extend. Uh, my birthday cake was a disaster, but it was delicious. This is okay. I 
think. I think it's gonna be tasty. I think it could look better, but I don't think it looks super bad. Just a little bit bad. No, so here's the thing. The problem with my birthday cake was that I didn't let it cool down because I didn't realize, which I should have, honestly. I should have realized. I understand that that's how it works, theoretically speaking. But I didn't realize at the moment, I was quite uh, drunk, that if I put frosting and icing and whatever on a hot cake, it will melt right off. You know, the names frosting and icing should have been a clue as to, you know, keeping it cold. But <laughs> it was my birthday and I had been drinking since 2 p.m. that day and at the time I was putting a frosting and icing on, it was like 8, so yeah, uh, that was a disaster. It still was delicious. It was just really fucking ugly. <laughs> um, but thank you, Camia. I think this one is not that ugly. Like it's it's like adorable ugly, you know? It's like a pug. Like it's ugly, but it's also kind of cute. <laughs> I'm just letting it cool down in the fridge for like 10 minutes and we're gonna cut into it and see what it's all about. And if it tastes like what I remember it should taste like. Hey, hot train success! <laughs> Yeah, we'll find out shortly. We'll find out shortly. Hopefully it does, because that means I did it well. Um, I didn't have it very often, but I had it on multiple occasions. Because I didn't, like my family didn't make it. Um, it wasn't like something that was commonly made in my family, but Ben's mom made it a lot. It was red velvet with cream cheese um, icing. I've had it, I just never made it. Nice. So I'm not huge on cakes. I do have a couple of cakes that are like common in Eastern Europe that I really enjoy. Like I really like Napoleon. Um, not gonna attempt to make it because it's a bitch. But I really like it. And then I really liked this cake when I had it. I'm okay with red velvet. I'm not like a huge fan, but I'll have it. I'll eat it. I think that was a typo. Yeah, pug. Not pig. <laughs> I want to try the cake. All right, let's get ready. Get started. Yeah, let's get started in here. Let's get started. Hey, let's get started in here. <laughs> Boston knows exactly how I feel about him. Hmm, which knife? My golden knives. Pretty dope. My birthday's in July. <clears throat> That's a knife. <laughs> Don't be scared. I shan't hurt anyone. I can't believe I set chocolate on fire, you guys. Why would you let me do that? <laughs> mean chocolate chip cookies like really good mine's July 9th I 
Good. <laughs> oh. You just have to get the batter just right, and then milk chocolate chip. Mm hmm. That was the reference, yeah. That's not a knife. Now that's a knife. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, you know. <laughs> Why? Why is July best month for birthdays? See, as a kid, I found it quite annoying because mostly people were like gone because it was summer break and all my friends would be like on vacation with their parents. Um, so that was annoying. And then also because uh, I grew up in Ukraine, July is like the rain season of like fucking storms. Um, so that was also annoying. But also, all the kids that had their birthday September through May had like, you know, they brought like candy to school and they celebrated and they wore a crown and everybody wished them happy birthday and as a summer birthday person all of us got lumps together and we had one day that was like a party for everyone no special days Traumatizing as a child. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not a big deal. But it is true though. I always tried to have my birthday as a picnic growing up because that was like the only way I really could have my birthday. And it always rained. And it was always really annoying. Now it's fine because now I live in LA. So A, it does not rain on my birthday. And B, I can throw dope as shit pool parties. So... <laughs> Hello, Dan Reed. I went camping in August mostly. July is just really rainy in Ukraine for whatever reason. Where did the focus go? Camera? There we go. <laughs> no, I never camped in winter. I mean, in Ukraine, you don't want to camp in winter. <clears throat> well, there's not that many beaches, but yes. I just didn't live by the sea. Oh my god. Camera. Hello. Hello, Bloodfire. Wait, you're a twin and I'm only learning about it now? No, I feel like I knew that. <laughs> I feel like I've heard you say that before and I had the exact same reaction. You know what, actually, soon I just have to get some people out here and get some estimates and I have been a little bit busy, but after the Bloom Awards, I'll get on it. But I feel like when you have a twin, that's kind of dope though, especially as a kid. Cause like you get to get in trouble together. Uh, mo both of my siblings are a lot, a lot older. So they didn't want to hang out with me. Hello, Lanty. I'm youngest of three, and yeah, both of them are really a lot older. Well, I mean, the parents usually can tell the difference between the twins. 
But if it's somebody else catching you, then maybe. All right. Have we pulled down? Have we thought about our behavior? All right, let's try this. How am I gonna do this? I don't know how am I gonna do this. Trying to preserve the integrity of this motherfucker. I don't know how I'm gonna put this on my plate. I'm not gonna preserve the integrity of this piece because it's impossible. Impossible. Okay, well, fuck it. There we go. That's that. And then this is this. Ta-da! It worked! It worked! <laughs> It looks exactly as it should, right? Okay, hang on one sec. I gotta make it pretty and I'm gonna take a picture. So it'll last longer. All right, put a session over. Now, let's give it a try. <laughs> oh yeah. It's crunchy, it's um, pastry, like it's in layers. The cherry is perfectly tart and sour. The cream is perfectly sweet. Mmm. Mmm. The awards are mm, next Saturday. Dennis, and yes, I will, I will film it. Mmm. Mmm. And the hazelnut and the chocolate are actually just a um, cherry on top, pun intended. Thanks, Dennis. Yes, I think it is confirmed. I think I am a culinary genius. <laughs> okay, I'll have a good shower. Mm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Highly recommend making this. It wasn't that difficult as you saw. It's a little bit laborious, but it wasn't that difficult. Really good. Like, ridiculously good. I will post the, post the recipe, but remember that 
Instead of the way they made the cream, I just did one-to-one -one whipped vanilla frosting and sour cream. Really good. Wow. This scratches the itch. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I haven't decided yet what we're making next week, but I'll figure it out. Mmm. <laughs> so that I'm making bubbly. And no, I'm not cheating on LaCroix. We're in an open relationship. LaCroix knows that she's my main partner, okay? Sometimes, I just have a side hoe of bubbly. <sighs> I personally really like this specific flavor of bubbly and then also the black cherry. It's the same level of flavoring. It's not soda, it's seltzer. Doesn't have any sugar in it. But yeah, so tis the cake. It is called Monastery Hut. I will be posting the recipe and the pictures on my Discord. If you're subbed and you sync your Discord in your Twitch, it will pop up in your connections. If you're not subbed, too bad. <laughs> this is fantastic. And I. I'm going to give some to Abby for sure so she can try it. I told her about this and she was curious, so I'm sure she's gonna come over for a coffee one morning and we'll have it with coffee. Okay, so let me just see who we rate in real quick. Hmm. Let's see. What do you guys say? Do we raid Evelyn Claire or do we make toast today? <laughs> I see you guys. I see. I understand. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna roll the credits. To thank everybody who supported the stream today. Appreciate you guys. Um, I will be back tomorrow. It's either gonna be a story lab or a hanging out and gaming stream. We'll find out tomorrow. Or I'll find out tonight and we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, and then Sunday I'm going to be doing a sub Sunday stream. Um, and then, uh, rinse and repeat, I suppose. I don't know what I'm going to cook next week yet, but I'll let you know. And also, welcome to subscribers old and new. Happy to have you. Make sure to sync your Discord and your Twitch to get onto my sub on the Discord server. And then we shall raid... Oh yes, thank you, Soup. Please check out Jaska for rating us and providing uh, the codes for giveaways. <laughs> thank you, Dennis. Okay, I think this is correct. Yep. All right, we're going to raid. It's okay, we'll build a new streak, better and stronger. <laughs>